ゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥゥ You know what better way to warm up your bones than some Deadly Grounds coffee? That's right, everybody. Deadly Grounds coffee. GetDeadly.com. It's coffee to die for. <laughs> hey, kids. How y'all doing out there? All you wonderful, beautiful internet peoples. Um, huh. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Today's, uh, what is today? Some kind of relevance for Sunday and Easter and shit. Oh, it's good. Happy Sunday. Good Sunday. What is it? Whatever. I don't know. I give it's up. It's a Sunday. It's Sunday. We're just gonna go like that. Hi, everybody. How's everybody out there? Couple, couple comments are starting to roll in here. Out in the, out in the magical internet well world there. Got um, Sean, Lisa, John, Steve. So. Everybody get in here. Yeah, I know. I'm just waiting for my feed to like show me what I'm doing right now. Is um, he yelling at you for being live again? Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even look at the... It won't even let me go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so guys. Hi! Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can't even look at the... Shush. How oh, dare you. Um, <laughs> it is Sunday. It is beer o'clock here on the East Coast. So, cool announcements coming up. Uh, again, next Sunday we will not be doing an episode. It's Easter Sunday. You guys spend time with your family. It's a holy day. <laughs> Antichrist. Hashtag. Um... <sighs> So, we're not going to do an episode. We never do episodes. You guys know, if a major holiday falls on a Sunday, uh, Super Bowl Sunday and WrestleMania, we just don't do it, because y'all got better things to do than watch my dumb ass. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, number two. We are still having our live charity auction Sunday. Whoosh, whoosh, April 24th. That's right. Sunday, April 24th. Uh, we're gonna be live from Fat Moose Comics. You guys know I love that place. They're like my second home now. Uh, I'm sorry, Sean, for current owner of Fat Moose Comics. Uh, you're stuck with me. I'm like herpes. I'm never gonna go away. I just don't itch as much. Oh. Also, April 24th, guys. Don't forget, if you're not following me now here at Cooking With Stupid, go over to Facebook, The Art of Sean. Um, you guys know I paint. I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm about as much of an artist as I am a fucking chef. But you guys go follow me over there. I have a whole bunch of shows coming up. Uh, I'm doing a lot of like these outdoor event arts and crafts kind of things. So I got a bunch of shows coming up. April 24th, we, we're doing one. So head on over to the Art of Sean to figure that out. Let me cut this modesty train real short, real quick. You might not be a classically trained chef. But you can fucking cook. I can cook. You might not be a quote unquote artist, but you can fucking art. There you go. I art like I art. So um, start taking credit for your shit. But guys, <laughs> y'all saw. Let me just fix the lighting real quick. Because I didn't do that part. Also, yes, Barbara, I'm hoping you're having a wonderful trip. Hi, Barbara. Um, guys, y'all saw I posted something yesterday. Okay, so you know Spinning Wheel of Doom, we, we still have it here. We're not doing it up. We're not doing spinning wheel doom tonight. I'm locking this recipe down though. Um, but in the past, I have two outstanding spinning wheel of doom things I still have to get done. I have to do a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, which I'm not looking forward to. I'd rather get waxed again or shot in the dick with a paintball. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. She's Bobby's gonna enjoy it. But guys, we were doing the tattoo thing, and we were farming around a bunch of shops. Now, as fate might have it. In my world, fate is fucking me in the ass constantly. When we were at Fat Moose two weeks ago for their 40th anniversary party, uh, congratulations to everyone at Fat Moose for that. That's a that's outstanding. We bumped into Sean. Who is in here in the comments, by the so, way. So, Sean Berman, everybody. Berman. <laughs> Ber Bergman. Everybody say hi to Sean. We haven't started drinking yet. Yeah. Um... So I bumped into Sean as fate might have it, and I was talking about how I do this show, Cooking with Stupid. And when we do a live recipe, like we do every Sunday, and I fuck it up, we have this thing called the Spinning Wheel of Doom. So you guys remember, like, last year, at some point, it came up that I had to get a tattoo. 
Now, as it turns out, we were going to go to this tattoo shop that we heard about that had a hundred side die. And whatever number comes up, that's the tattoo you have to get. Again, as fate had it, I bumped into Sean at Fat Moose. Well, guess what? He fucking owns North Jersey Tattoo, located at 179 Route 46 West. How do you in remember Rockaway, addresses, but you don't remember anything else? Look, I can't tell you what I had for fucking <laughs> breakfast, but I remember names. I remember people's addresses. This is the so, same man that took five years to learn my phone number. So, guys, North Jersey <laughs> Tattoo, 179 Route 46 Westbound in Rockaway, New Jersey. It's right over by the Arby's and Franklin Ave there. Cool shop. I mean, I've been to a lot of tattoo shops. This place is very warm, comfortable, inviting. Sean, my man, I, I wanted to thank him for putting his shop out there for us. So we're going to be doing a tattoo this Friday coming up, the 15th, I believe it is. 6 p.m., we're going to be doing a special episode of Cooking with Stupid where you're all going to see me getting a tattoo done. It's not going to be the 100-sided die. No, I wanted to take it to another fucking level. So I'm going to be getting... <laughs> The cooking with stupid put on me. It's going to be the cooking with stupid wording, just like here, you see here. And then Sean's going to put his own little twist on it as well. Um, God help me, we're getting it, because Bobby made me do it. I'm getting it put on my chest, which, if you haven't gotten a chest tattoo, are you even living? I mean, that was the condition that I got to pick the spot, yeah. so... It's not comfortable at all. It, no, it, it, it's not. I mean, I... I have passed proof. Oh, uh, you know what else? It's gonna suck. How how willing would you be to get googly eyes like your poster on your nips? <laughs> I'm gonna see myself out now. What the actual <laughs> fuck like, is on wrong the with actual... you? No! No! No, Sean, no. <laughs> but, um, guys, uh, it, we had a great time visiting North Jersey Tattoo. I went off and I dropped off at the shop. Everybody enjoyed it. You know me, my signature cheeseburger bake. I dropped it off. Sean sent me this cool video of him enjoying it. And I, I was I was really I really appreciated that. I'm happy everybody at the shop got to try it. Sean's wife. Everybody loved it. It was a great time. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing uh hi Jen. We're gonna be doing a special episode um this Friday the 15th at 6 p.m. from North Jersey Tattoo. Y'all gonna see me getting inked up on my chest. I'm not gonna look forward to it because it hurts. I, like last offer, because he seemed down with the googly eye thing. Last offer. No, 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 no. Uh, Mike Fiala, <laughs> brilliant. So finally, Mike agreed on something. Jesus Christ. Alex, hello from New Orleans. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, oh, Sean, I didn't even gonna know be you a super traveling. party. I love you, sir. <laughs> Sean, I love you so much. You're you're fucking guys. If you even if you don't want to get a tattoo. Just stop by the shop. Sean is an amazing artist in and of itself. And he's got... They're going to be moving the shop at the end of the summer. For here and now. He's got all, all of his other artists. They have all their art up on the wall that they've done. It's a great store. Great little shop. But Sean did this mural in the back. Oh, it's gorgeous. Holy fuck balls. It's gorgeous. It's fucking epic. Like, if I owned my house, I would have this motherfucker come over and paint that shit on my wall. It's gorgeous. Go check them out. North Jersey Tattoo. Follow them on Facebook. Have I ever steered you guys wrong yet? Epically, at least. Well, I mean, are we talking about life-wise or recipe-wise? Because I've seen a lot of couple kind of recipes. That... It's called balance. I mean, you mm -hmm. you spun the wheel for a reason there, man. Mm -hmm. So tonight, what are we doing, guys? Air Fryer Oink Oink. Uh, North Jersey Tattoo is the name of the shop. Yeah, um... North Jersey tattoo. Okay, there you go, Nat. Yeah, John, Nat. If you want to get you want to get some awesome ink done, dude. Like they're all the talent there. They're amazing people. But Sean, he he's my bro, and uh, I owe you some medicated chapstick, there, Sean. Oh wait, wait, wait! I got. Just saying. Oh wait, Bobby's got. There you go. I'm always prepared with medicated chapstick. I told that, you. Give it that little tingle, baby. Mm. Slow burn. So guys, what are we doing tonight? We're doing air fryer pork chops. Now, we haven't done too many things with pork on this show. Well, me and Bobby did a little pork in this morning. But um, we've done a pork tenderloin in the past, and we've done one rep recipe before with pork chops. So I'm, I was... The, huh? <sighs> Thank you, German import. So Bobby said she wants pork chops. I'm going to keep her happy because she keeps me happy. She's my, she's my grounding force, everybody. 
plus pork chops. Plus pork chops. <laughs> so we're doing <laughs> Sean service me. <laughs> um, look, there's an old <laughs> Irish adage: if you don't have it in the hips, you better have it in the lips. And y'all know some of you out there in the internets, you know I'm hung like a circus flea. So anyway, um, so we're doing pork chops. But like a little bit of twist, we're not cooking full on pork chops in the air fryer. We're gonna cube these bad boys up. We're gonna season a little bit, throw them in the air fryer for like seven or eight minutes at 400 degrees. Take them out, season them up a little bit again. We're gonna broil them for a few minutes, get a nice crisp on them and boom. Cube pork chop, seasoned cube pork chops. Yeah, we'll go with that. I don't know what to fucking call them. We'll leave it up to you guys. But while that's all going on, we're also going to give you guys a sneak pre preek. What the fuck? We're going to give you guys a sneak peek at just some of the stuff that's going up for this month's charity auction. Remember, guys, 100% of the proceeds will be benefiting the Hero Initiative. If you guys don't know what that is, Hero Initiative, it's a nonprofit organization, and they raise uh, monetary funds for artists and creators in the comic book industry during their times of need. Uh, we've done the Hero Initiative now three different times. We've raised over $2,000 for them alone. We're doing this one, um, and God bless Sean Hendricks over at Fat Moose Comics. He's graciously letting us have a copy of the Justice League, the JLA Avengers crossover, the reprint that was just that just came out in honor of George Perez with the money benefiting him. Now, a lot of comic shops, a lot of people were just selling these things off at astronomical prices and keeping the money but a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of comic book shops were donating that money. They were they were raffling them off, doing auctions, and all that money went right back to the Hero Initiative in honor of George Perez. You guys know how much George meant to me in my life, how much he still means to me. Um, for those of you who don't know, George is stage four cancer. Um, he chose to live out his life on his terms because he didn't want to spend the rest of his days in and out of hospitals, in and out of doctors. He wanted to stay at home with his wife and his family and his friends. Uh, anybody in the comic book industry, if you're not influenced by George Perez, I don't know what's wrong with you, because he's just, he's the man. He's right up there with Kirby, and yeah, I'm not going to cry, but, well, so. I to, to pull you back into a, a funnier note, um, Alex... He said I was the anchovies to your peanut butter, and I'm questioning that heavily. No, Bobby's the fruit of my what? looms, the peanut butter to my jelly, the KY to my vibrator. <laughs> Look, don't kink shame me, okay? It's gotta be International Women's Day. I mean, I figured you were gonna say butt plug. Either way, you know. At least it's got a jewel on it, it's pretty. Hmm. Let's start cooking shit, <laughs> shall we? Ugh. So, things, and this is where we get up and start shaking. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> so, things you're going to need. Pork chops. If you're going to do pork chop recipe, you want to get some pork chops. We went over to the Wise supermarkets. We got ourselves some really nice center cut pork loin chop. Look at that meat. Slap that meat, baby. Mm, hit me! Thank you. Where are you going? Going to the kitchenette so I can cut these fuckers up. Meat. Meet me halfway. Oh, they smell funky. No, they don't. I cleaned out the garbage when the dog shit earlier today. Oh. <laughs> oh. At so, least I didn't slip in this one. We're going to bust these bad boys open, guy, guys and gals. Get yourself a little bowl off to the side here. Mm. Now, these are bone in. That's the only way to eat pork chops, isn't it? Yep, but I'm going to be obviously cutting them from the bone. I mean, it's never a good time unless the bone's in. <laughs> I'm gonna wash that sin right off of my hands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash stir the meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And now I have to wash my hands. Now you gotta wash your hands. So I'm gonna dry my hands. I'm gonna hold on to the camera while Bobby washes her hands. Uh. Just lick my mm. hand. <laughs> Happy salmonella, boys and girls. No, I almost gave myself that the other night. Yeah. Well, you know. Look at that ass. Look at that ass. 
bow, keep a wow wow, keep a wow wow. All right, I'm gonna look at some comments. Mike, I like pulled pork, giggity. Ha, <laughs> bone in, whatever floats your boat, bud. Ah! Uh, what's the over pork jokes tonight? Oh, there's gonna be a lot of pork jokes tonight, Mike. Bless you. Uh, that was sexy. I oh, didn't want to commit the first time. That was some hot shit, guys. All right, so get yourself a nice sharp stabby stabs. <laughs> oh shit, we're trusting you with a knife. I just realized that. Yep, this shit just got real. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. that bone you motherfucker well i mean at least the nice thing is you you can you can leave some excess because you're cubing it up anyway you you are not going to leave that little sliver of meat on there are you mm. that's what i thought you get all that shit in there if i'm going to eat fatty meat it's going to you're going to get all <laughs> the all the fatty meat is going in my mouth buddy giggity now for those of you just joining us for the first time things you should know about this show First and foremost, Hi. Bobby has gas. Secondly, I am in no way, shape, or form a classically trained chef. I'm just a guy that likes to cook food, entertain you all on a weekly basis. But things we don't tolerate on this show. Number one, Bobby's gas. <laughs> like you haven't done it. Right. Number two, um, I don't care who you pray to. I don't care who you vote for, I don't care how, who you share your bed with, nor do I care of the color of your skin. If you're a good person, you belong here. If you're slightly psychotic, you're definitely at the right place. So you just want to cube these guys up, inch, inch and a half pieces, no big deal. Leave that fat on there because that's where all that flavor comes from, kids. Oh yeah. Look, an inch of meat still gets the job done. Always about inches, everybody. No, it's not. That's the thing. It's just, that inch. It depends on how you use it, man. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you don't have it in the hips, you better have it in the lips. So we're just going to cut these pieces up here like so. Doo -doo -doo. Singing in the bathtub. La, 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 la. I'm going to make a really bad joke and also simultaneously piss off a lot of people here. It's pork roll. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wash my hand again now. Yes, you oh, do. Well. well, you have to wait for it. That's fine. Slap that meat down. Oh, god damn. Oh, that's some good meat. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad any comments that just went through. I can't really use my hand to touch the phone screen now, so... Wait for uh, it. I think, what, is that Michael Tracy that put, what if I'm more than slightly psychotic? Oh, Mike, you're, you're definitely... Dude, you're a fellow dairy fairy like I used to be, so you're definitely in the right place, brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. John, my standards have dipped quite a bit in the last few hours, okay? Don't you underestimate me. Is that a shot at me? <laughs> No, 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 Scott, it is Taylor Ham. It is 100% Taylor Ham. Oh, we're going there. Oh. <laughs> I said it as a joke to piss off people, but it is Taylor Ham. That is the only time you will hear pork roll come out of my mouth and, you know. Unless I'm rolling my fat naked ass in the bed. Uh. That too, okay. Yeah. Alright, so, once I've got these things cut up... <laughs> It's a cleanser. Mm. Yep. Your, your knife skills are, they leave something to be desired. I know. Sir, I'm, I'm not so sure I'm happy with that. Much like my sexual prowess. So. I mean, you kept me around this long, so. The food helps, don't get me wrong. Food helps a lot, guys. Like I said, I am not much in the bedroom. I mean, every time I get naked, Bobby just points and laughs and says, you're gonna do what with that? You're right, John. It is the same thing, but it's still called Taylor Ham. <laughs> Wait, is Joe Ho saying pork roll? He said, oh God, not this dumbass argument again. It's the same thing. Oh. It is the same thing. You just. It's not it. the same thing. Do you say 
Adhesive bandages or band-aid? Do you say cotton swabs or Q-tip? It's Taylor Ham. End of discussion. Hook and loop or Velcro? Yeah. End of discussion, kids. I'm officially calling it. It's Facebook official now. It's Taylor Ham. Whether you want it to be or not. It's even I don't called care. it was even referred to by Taylor Ham by the Taylor Company up until what, the nineteen fifties or something like that? Yeah. Suck a dick. Okay, so once you got your pork chops queued up here, and Bobby's finishing washing her hands. I just like it wet. Oh my. Here's a paper towel. I want you to show them what you did. Show them what you did. I tried helping and I failed. Give me the camera. You, you. We'll just. We're gonna pretend like it never happened. Shh. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Cubed up pork chops. That's bothering me so much. What you're gonna get next, guys? Get your Creole, Cajun's Choice Creole seasoning. Trust me on this. Come on back. Get yourself just a little bit of olive oil in here. A little salt, just a, a little. A little black pepper. That's rude, you just assaulted that pork. <laughs> and generously throw on this Creole Cajun seasoning, okay? Don't be shy. I don't see it in a cage though. Yep. How could be how could it be Cajun? Now, this is the dirty part. Get your hands all in there. Mix that shit up. Look at this. Look at this. Just finger bang that in there. Hardcore. Get a nice, good, even coating. You liar! What? You can finger bang things properly. Where the hell has that been for the last seven years? Oh, oh. also I should... Wow. Also, I should point out, don't have your kids watching this show. We are rated M for Mature for obvious fucking reasons. They will be corrupted within five minutes of watching yeah. this. Um, we curse, we drink, this is what we do. I make no apologies for anything. So, once you've got a nice good coating on here, go rewash your hand. You do that, we're just gonna admire the... Just admire my meat. Your Look fatty at meat. My meat. Look at that fatty meat in there. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Remember when it was all about finger banging? What in the actual... What is he doing? Does he think this is sexy or something? <laughs> Isn't it rated I for immature? Oh, that too. So, you're gonna set your air fryer. <laughs> Pop it like it's hot. Air fry. We're gonna go for time. No, time. I'm gonna do the time. There we go. But I thought you put Creole seasoning on it, not time. Why the fuck won't this work? Okay. Because you don't know how to use it? Temperature. 400 degrees. Nine minutes, 400 degrees. Start. Let that heat up. In the meantime, while that's heating up, beer. Oh. <sighs> now more beer. Because beer. <coughs> Wrong pipe. So again, just a little bit of olive oil. Drizzle it on there, a little salt, a little pepper, a generous amount of your Cajun's Choice Creole seasoning. You can find this pretty much any supermarket, but in the seafood section. Check the spice section for shits and giggles. My nine out of ten times is over in the seafood department. It's because it's usually used with seafood. Exactly. <laughs> nope, Mike, we will not be having a show next weekend because, you know, it's Easter. Sunday. Easter. <laughs> but Mike, um, you are tuning in late. We will be showing, uh, we will be coming live to you from North Jersey Tattoo, located 179, <clears throat> Route 46 West in Rockaway, New Jersey. 6 p.m. this Friday, coming up. 
Spinning Wheel of Doom edition. I'm getting the damn tattoo put on me. Uh, I'm gonna double down like an idiot. So I'm getting the Cooking With Stupid logo tattooed on my chest. And then our good friend Sean, the owner of North Jersey Tattoo, he's gonna put a little special twist on it for us. I told him he has carte blanche to do whatever he wants. I'm both anxiously awaiting to see what happens and terrified at the same time. Kinda like prison sex. You don't know what you're gonna get, but you might not enjoy it. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It should be fine. I mean, Alex, you could have Italian seasoning on it, but I don't know if you really want to watch Sean glaze these pork chop cubes or not. <laughs> what are we asking about with glazing pork chops? I'll glaze you like a donut. Uh, that went way over your head. We're done with that. Yeah, I'm totally, I have no idea what was happening. You're talking about comments, Italian seasoning. Uh, I'm talking about people jacking off on the pork chops. Is that enough for you? Oh, okay then. Well, my name is Sean. I could do a doubling surprise no, on this. Sean does not have to wax his chest. He did not lose that. No, um, I'm gonna manscape. Don't get me wrong, because yeah. this is like a Vietnam fucking jungle in here. Oh, look, a gray hair. Oh, gray hair. Oh, let's get up close on that shit. Son oh, look at that. Bitch. Look at that right oh. there. Yeah. Oh, you got a couple of them, actually. Well, I, well, actually, I can't tell from this angle if they're blonde or gray, but they look gray. They're blonde. We'll say they're blonde. They're not blonde, we'll I don't blonde. think. Four non-blondes. And I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream at the top of my lungs. Ah! I don't own the rights to that song, Facebook. Don't shut me down. All right, we're ready. It says add food. We're gonna add food. So just plop them in there all over the place. You know it's hot. When that thing's sizzling like a some bitch, you don't have to be neat about it, kids. Just plop them in. Who cares? It's all good. What if I care? You shouldn't care. What if I do? Don't worry about it. But I care. But it's fine. But it's not fine. Totally fine. But it's not. It could be. But it's not. But it might be. But it's really not. But we don't know. <sighs> <laughs> you saw that, everybody. My girlfriend. They saw nothing. Her. Bobby beats me. All they saw was that you got real close to the camera. I don't even think he thought of a side, Alex. Um, I got a side of Bobby with this. How about that? You're not cooking me. Not yet, I'm not. And now we're gonna wash our hands again. With what meat anyway? There's nothing on me. You got breasts. <laughs> okay, well that's fat. Thank you very much. We still have not cleaned up paper towels. That's In right. fact, we added to the mess. I, I don't know. You know. It's fine. Totally fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now, uh, as a side for this, you guys want to do french fries, tater tots. It don't matter. We're not doing a side tonight because... I forgot to do one. We also kind of ate already today. So. Yeah, we were at a we were at a, an event earlier this afternoon for a, a local motorcycle club, and uh, I ate a lot of food. You ate three burgers. To, not even aside the other stuff that you ate, you ate three burgers. I had three burgers, a couple of wings, a couple of boneless wings. Yeah, Alex, the paper towels are bothering me too. No, but I guess it's good enough. <sighs> you did not just sassy hair. You did not just sassy hair flip me. So while this shit's cooking, what do I want to do, kids? Let's show you some of the stuff for this month's charity auction, shall we? Doug, he never some. said he was full. He just said he ate a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna dick tease you a little bit with some of the items we got uh, for this month's auction, guys. Pause for fixing of the camera. Fixing the camera. So, you already remember. I'm in you too. I teased y'all. <laughs> we got this beautiful sketch cover from Chris Capanna. Thank you, Jason Parker, for helping us out with this one. But, guys, you know Chris Capanna, beautiful artist, beautiful man, lovely eyes. So, we got this cool Batman Beyond sketch cover. I mean, that's just, that's just damn sexy right there. Also, 
Ooh, you know me and my Funkos, guys. This is a GameStop exclusive glow in the dark Gamerverse Miles Morales Funko. Oh, yeah. Giggity, 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 goo. And thank you to our friends at Eastside Comic, uh, Eastside Mags in Montclair, New Jersey, uh, from the Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. We got ourselves Darkseid and his little bitch, Desaad. <laughs> yeah, you know, Sean just went. <laughs> I'm like so behind on. It's all so fucking good. Uh, no, he put. Uh, I'm watching you as I'm uh, eating your casserole. You are inside me and in front of me. I fucking love you, Sean. <laughs> so, guys, thank you to our friends at Eastside Mags. We got the Zack Snyder's Justice League Dark Side and Desaad Funko Pops. Also, ah. Uh, from our friends at Eastside Mags. A big shout out to them. Uh, we got the PX Previews exclusive Immortal Hulk Funko, the big bat, big boy. That's, that's pretty damn epic. <laughs> and kids, I haven't seen it yet, but everybody's all crazy about it. From uh, the Star Wars world, the Book of Boba Fett, we got the Boba Fett Funko. Remember the last auction we had the Fennec Shan? Well, this time around, we got the Boba Fett one for y'all. And, and, oh, I love this one. This is a PX Previews exclusive Kitty Pride with Lockheed in tow. There's a little side shot of it. Uh, one of my favorite X-Men, Kitty Pride. If you don't know who she is, you uncultured swine. Show the side again, because you turned it before it could focus. There you go. There we go. With her little buddy <gasps> Lockheed the dragon. Yes, Jen. What? I got cookies. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. I mean, we weren't really in a rush. We just like teasing you about it. Yeah. So, um, and then guys, you know, every month we get a slab here. Oh, do we got a slab this time? CGC nine point four. Dark Knights: The Batman Who Laughs. Number one. The origin of the Batman laughs, and it's the foil cover, guys. Oh, look at that. Soak that shit in. Uh, uh, uh. Hell yeah. Hi, Jeff, and I absolutely love you for that. <laughs> Who's Kitty Pride? Hey, El Jefe, what's up? Hey, we were just talking about you and your shop. Go fix. Um, yeah, they are mostly my cookies. Josie <laughs> still has a painting for you guys to auction off. Uh, oh, sweet. Should I auction off a painting, too? You guys want another one of my original art paintings? Yes, I, no? I would say hold off on this one and just do Josie's and let, let her yeah. take the spotlight on this so, one. So, um, the Depressman family, um, sometime this week I'm going to get down to you guys and pick up Josie's painting then. So guys, Josie's also starting off in the little world of art that I'm jumping into. She's our Girl Scout cookie hookup. You know, you need Girl Scout cookies. You go to Josie Pressman. We post a link every year for her. Um, and we are doing an episode live from the Pressman's house with Josie. She's going to be my guest chef. Uh, and we're going to be doing a recipe incorporating Girl Scout cookies. God knows how that's going to turn out. So wait, what if your guest chef outchefs you? Spinning wheel of doom. <laughs> so for that episode, guys, yes, we will be bringing the spinning wheel of doom with us. I... Okay. So I'm getting prompted to turn my food. I'm not going to do that. Bef no, before you do it. Please, please. Fucking... I'm, oh, I'm not, Sean is amazing. I'm not turning the food. I'm laying naked and there's just cheeseburger everywhere. Like, cheese, cheese casserole bukkake. It's all you. It's all you were. Love. You were made to come into our life. <laughs> God bless you. So, guys, like I said, once these are done cooking the air fryer, we're going to throw them in the broiler for just a few minutes, get a nice crisp browning on them. So I'm going to start that up right now. In the meantime... Check out that kick-ass poster. Compliments from our good friend, Angela McKendrick, amazing artist. Hit her up for commission work. I guess that means I have to tilt the camera so you can actually see it. It did not have googly eyes on it originally. That was my doing, because I'm a smart ass. That was all Bobby. For those of you who don't know where that came from, I annoyed the crap out of him one day when he came home and hid 68 pairs of googly eyes all throughout the house that he had to find. Yep. I had 69 and I broke one of them. Other... It would have been complete, because 69. Magic number. Yep. I think that's the universal number, not 42. No, it's 69. Pretty much. Right? Like, All can right, I get so an agreement on that? <laughs> You're so far away. So, guys. Can we 
over this way. I want to show you some shit we're going to be doing, too. So we're going to leave. We're going to leave. Bye. All right. <laughs> Get yourself your cookie sheet. Throw a little parchment paper on it. We got the broiler going. You know, Jeff, this might be a cooking show. Could be. Cookie comedy. Either way. So, get yourself your little, uh... It's a ramekin. A little ramekin. I fucking always forget what to call these things. Get your little ramekin here, kids. You're gonna melt down two tablespoons of butter. That's, and the butter thing that also has googly eyes on it. <laughs> that's probably about two tablespoons. We'll sure. Say it's all good. Our googly eyed butter dish. You're gonna get that going there. And again, just do. I should probably move out of the way of the microwave. A few seconds in the microwave. Do 20. Oh, hey, he's cleaned the microwave since you last saw it, by the way. Oh, yeah, we'll take a look in there in a second. Um. You're gonna get a little, two tablespoons of butter and a little garlic. I'm fast, cheap, and easy, so I just got the wise quality minced garlic uh, in water. I can hear sizzling pork fat, and I'm not against it in any way, shape, or form. So your butter gets melted down here. Pretty good damn timing, if you ask me. Put in a pretty generous amount of garlic. You can't go wrong. Remember kids, you measure garlic with your heart. You better believe it. You measure garlic until you hear the voices of your ancestors say, that's enough now, child. That's enough. Drink it. That's butter. So. Hi boys and girls, how y'all doing? You're so weird. I hope you're in a happy place today like I am. Hey. Extreme close-up. Well, we now look at what the inside of your nose looks like. Hairy, just like my ass. Uh, oh. I mean, we could wax it and take care of that. No, we can't. Don't forget to get your grabby things. Make sure, this is the rule. You gotta click them a couple times, make sure they're working. So, we got the broiler going. We got our pork cubes all ready to go. It looks like chicken from at this point. Right. So we're just gonna put them on the baking sheet, nice even here. Oh, damn, maybe we do have smell of vision Jeff can smell your mustache. Hey now, does it smell like your ass? No, but it might smell like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I eat ass like a fat kid eats cake. Actually, that's because I shit in his face while he was taking a nap about an hour ago. Well, you know, either way. So, we're just going to put these on here for a minute. Let them think about the wrongs they've done in life. Cool? I mean, I don't think it's really going to be thinking about its wrongs anymore because it's dead. What part get... of the pig does the cube come from? Methane cometh from pig shit. If anybody could tell me what that's from, you win a prize. Get another bowl. And Alex, that's something we are never going to test out. What's that? Pork is the closest thing to human flesh. Actually, it is. Okay, but we're never going to test it. That's my point. Oh, no. So get yourself another bowl. We're gonna transfer all these little pork cubes into the second bowl. Why didn't I use the first bowl? Well, because the first bowl had goddamn raw meat in it. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. I, uh, you know. Get I... our your butter, garlic. Throw it in there. Get yourself a little... It, it takes a lot to gross me out, but I feel really dirty after watching you do that. Little Parmesan cheese. Well, the Kraft plastic Parmesan cheese. Yeah. The good shit. Get a nice, good coating on there. Just 
Just shake it like a Polaroid picture, kids. James, I feel like at this point you need water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that does smell really good. Mm -hmm. Put them back on the baking sheet once you're all coated up there. Nice and pretty like. This time you want to evenly space them out a little bit. You don't have to go nuts. You know, just be nice to do it. Yes, John, that is a line. Think of what else he uses those fingers for. I don't, I don't want them porky finger things near, anywhere near me. Hey, if you touch your dick after this, does that mean you have pork sausage? So once you got them on the sheet, all this little residual goodness that's on there, just drizzle that shit right over it, kids. Just don't be shy. Just hit a couple of them. You're basting your meat with the juices that Fuck it was yeah. boiled in? Oh, yeah. Get on my meat. Get on my meat. Get on my meat. Oh. Jeff's wife just asked him if he was watching porn. Hi, Marie. You know, it is Sean, so I'm pretty sure that it's equivalent. It's like Skinamax. All right, so we're gonna put those in there, put them on broil. <laughs> Just for three minutes, that's all you need. We're gonna get a nice browning on them. Giggity. Now, you're all probably wondering, well, what do you do with this shit, Sean? What do you do with this leftover scraps? Well, you could boil that down later, make a stock out of it, trim up the rest of the meat, feed it to your dog. <laughs> I don't care. You do what you want. Jen Pressman, Lexi just repeated you with pork sausage. I got Lexi to say pork sausage. That's all right. I got a three-year-old to say horse shit once. <laughs> I do hope she doesn't understand the context behind it, though. Wow. <laughs> you raise your kids however you want to. I already forewarned you, don't have small kids watching this show, but y'all do you. Y'all do you. Oh, it's Scott and Jen. Come on. We've already started to corrupt their kids a long time ago. <laughs> oh, that made my day. Oh, man. Jeff, I am sorry. Marie, I do apologize for my antics. No, but I doesn't. don't at the same time. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Hmm. He is not ashamed of himself no. at all. But guys, this is a nice little uh, recipe you could do if you're having guests over, if you're going to be entertaining for any kind of small event. Nice little hors d'oeuvres kind of thing. Um, serve it with a side of coleslaw, side of french fries, tater tots, what have you. If you're going to make a meal out of this, do like a nice garlic parmesan uh, mashed potato or something with some seasoned vegetables on the side. Go through all of our past recipes. Pick a side. I don't care. Do a side dish. Do a side chick. I don't give a fuck what you do outside of my house. Wouldn't that be dessert? <laughs> yeah. Glazer like a donut? Glazer, sorry, like a, glazer like a donut, kids. <laughs> <laughs> you have corrupted since they were born. Yeah, just wait till we come to your house and do a fucking show. I'll try my best to keep it clean. No promises. At all. Whatsoever. None. You gave me permission to be around your kids, so... Ooh, now we just want brownies. Does it include brownie mix clown porn? But I just want brownies now. Yeah, I kind of want brownies, too. Damn. You fly and I'll, I'll make them? Nah, come on. It's a fucking lazy. I, don't I might be able to... I have cocoa powder. I actually might be able to make them from scratch. I don't want to go out, though. Lazy. You don't have to... Uh, I should have everything I need. No, I'd need egg. Mm -hmm. We don't. We, our eggs are vastly out of well, date. Are out they of are date. a month out of date, and I think we still have yet to throw. Let's find out. We're horrible when it comes to the egg situation. Oh, March twenty second. It's not that bad. Ah, could be worse. <laughs> it's only two weeks out of date. Two, one. Let's check these bad boys out, kids. Yeah, I know Wawa has everything, but Wawa's so far. Wawa is so far away. It's it's right across the highway. I, it, I can't. It's too far away. So, here we go, guys. Scott, I don't know what you're talking about. I, 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 yeah, you might want to lock all of it away. Oh, His Harry Potter collection. He needs yeah. to lock. Yeah. 
So we're just going to plate these bad boys on our third finest china here. What Harry Potter collection? You don't have a Harry Potter collection. You don't see anything. Well, at least now I know what the burning smell was. The paper. The bears. That's, that's burnt. That's fine. My meat ain't burnt. Is that snow outside your window? No, that was just the glare inside the window. <laughs> the bomb's bursting. It was snowing earlier, but... Yeah, we did have a little bit of snow come through here. All right, so guys, you know all of our recipes. Bobby's always the guinea pig right out the gate, so I'm just going to leave that up to you to pick one. Thanks. Sham! You already know I'm going for a charred bitch. Look at that. Look at that nice browning you got on there from the broiler. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's some sexy shit. Yeah, put that hot fucking pork in your mouth. down there with the dirt now. <laughs> like I sweep under the table. <laughs> On an upcoming episode of Cooking with Stupid, Cleaning Your Kitchen 101. Yeah. Trying to find the best people. Oh, this has got fat on it too. Yeah. Look at that jaw retract. Oh, she's like a boa. Tasty. Delish. Chew it. Oh, yeah. Thoughts? I mean, it's tasty garlicky pork. I don't. It's tasty garlicky pork. Okay. There you have it's it. It's about boys what and you girls. would expect from it's garlicky pork. It's tasty garlicky pork. I'm going to pick this up before the dog gets it because there's nothing about this that she can eat. So, there's tonight's recipe, ladies and gentlemen. It's <laughs> damn good, though. It is good. Mmm. I love these things. Mmm. Good soup. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright, guys. I forgot to get Tabasco sauce at the store earlier today, so I'm just straight up doing a tequila shot for y'all. But, guys, don't forget... Next Sunday is Easter Sunday. We will not be doing an episode... Sorry, but to make it up for you, don't forget to tune in live this Friday, April 15th. We'll be televising from North Jersey Tattoo, located at 179 Route 46 Westbound, Rockaway, New Jersey, where we are going to finally do the Spinning Wheel of Doom Tattoo Challenge. Um, uh, which one was that for? Which charity was that for? I forget. Oh, that was so long ago. It doesn't matter, guys. All of our charities are always good choices. We're always doing good things for people out there, out in the world. Um, again, this month, we're going to be raising money for Hero Initiative. Don't forget to tune in live <clears throat> April 24th from Fat Moose Comics in Whippany, New Jersey, where we'll be having this month's charity auction. Uh, what else? Uh, also, April 24th, guys, I'm doing another art show. Go check that out over at the Artist Sean on Facebook. What else? What else? Go follow North Jersey Tattoo on Facebook. Great shop. Sean, thank you very much for giving us your time and your talent. Uh, our friends over at Fat Moose Comics, congratulations on 40 years in the business. Thanks to our friends over at Eastside Mags for hooking us up with those couple of Funkos. We had a few last month. We got a couple more this month. Good times. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. I'm just going to keep eating all the pork while you you're talking. You keep eating all my hot meat. So, guys, that's all we have for you tonight. Don't forget, pretty much every Sunday, we're live every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Facebook. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on TikTok. Uh, Instagram, we're on Cooking with Stupid 1, Cooking with Stupid number 1 on Instagram. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. So, don't forget, Friday, this Friday... Six o'clock, North Jersey Tattoo. Go follow him on Facebook. Sean, hugs and kisses and all your pink parts. Did you run out of Tabasco? Yeah, I have no more Tabasco. You should try it with Frank's. Just doing straight up tequila. Fuck it. Guys, we'll see you Friday, 6 p.m. live from North Jersey Tattoo. It's going to be a fun time, an awesome time, a sex-alicious time. Sean, you 
God, beautiful man, you. I just want to tongue fuck your fart box right now. But until then, and as always, eat, drink, and stay healthy, everyone out there in the internet land. Ciao. <sighs> if you do that against his buddy, might actually like the rim job. <sighs> oh, I forgot how straight tequila just tastes like shit, too. Yeah, it's almost like uh, it's gross and it shouldn't be ingested. <laughs> Whew. Oh, I feel so alive. <laughs> you can hear colors and see sounds. <sighs> oh. Ah. Ciao, everybody. Bye, kids. Mm -hmm.